Yes, welcome to Bikes of Bry, and thank you for clicking on my video. Today, it's a beautiful day. Finished work at four o'clock this afternoon, and I thought, you know what, I fancy jumping out on the bike. How about bringing you guys with me? Why not? I've actually removed the baffle from the Leo Vince exhaust for this little pop. So how about I turn the bike on, start it up, and let you hear it. Is there's, there's a little bit of a build up of dirt so it's very dusty in places especially on the engine so I'm gonna get around to giving it a proper clean so what do you reckon to the sound then without the DB killer in or the baffle whichever you want to call it sounds beefy doesn't it so yeah I love getting out of the bike in the summer in the evenings you know when you've just had one of those days at work and you just need a little bit of a let's say you just want to unwind you know just come out jump on the bike just go out for an hour or two and this is the joys of owning a bike this is what it's all about just having that freedom i'm going out for no other reason than just to ride i've got really no idea where i'm going to go i'm just going to literally make my mind up as i go but yeah, I kind of wanted to bring you guys with me uh, because, you know, I love having you along with me on these rides, really enjoying these moto vlogs. And also, um, you know, I've got some ideas for this video. As you have seen from the title, I am going to suggest three things that I believe Triumph could do for the new street triple that would make it better so now when i say you know these three things could make this bike better i am by no means suggesting that this bike needs improving i recently put out a video uh, you know saying would i buy this bike again knowing what i know today and i was a bit blase in that i said you know I don't, I, I, what could Triumph do to improve this? Yeah, what, what would they do? Because it's so good as it is. And I went on to say that, of course, I'd buy this bike again if I had the opportunity. But thanks to some of you guys commenting on that video, it, made, it, it really made me think. And I don't know, I actually agree with you guys as well. Now, before we jump into the three things that I believe Triumph could do to this bike, two, make it that bit better and keep it ahead of uh, competition I think we do need to be mindful on the fact that I think Triumph have, have nailed it on the pricing with this bike I think well certainly in the UK I think it's ever so well priced considering the competition out there and what you get for the money and asking Triumph to improve on this and chuck more things at it I would hope that it wouldn't mean that the price of this bike would go up because I think if it did increase in value I'm not sure given how steep the competition is would it still be such a popular bike all right let's go then the first thing that Triumph could do to this bike and it's something that frustrates me at times I have to say and I've complained about it in uh, previous videos and that is the fact that the TC well the traction control acts as an anti wheelie so with that said i think we need something like a six axis imu now the yamaha mt09 sp comes with one and i don't know if we need a six axis imu right but i really want the traction control separated from the anti wheelie i like the idea of having traction control as a safety measure in at times even though i haven't really ever felt it kick in certainly not on the road anyway but when you're going down a particular road and there's a few bumps in the road and stuff and the, and, the, and the bike's fighting you and it's killing the power and stuff and 
it's annoying like I want to have some more fun and another thing off that is the fact that you know of course you could put it in rider mode and turn the TC off uh, and allow the front wheel to come up as you like but I want traction control on okay I like the idea of that being in place when I need it if I ever need it and before we kick off with the second thing guys if you're enjoying this video so far how about you give me a thumbs up have you done it good because now I'm going to say thanks by giving you a <laughs> Oh dear, I just did that and there was people walking under the bridge and it was way louder than I was expecting. <laughs> oh dear, I bet that made them jump. I couldn't see because it was a bit too dark, but oh well. I hope I didn't blow their eardrums out. Talking of loudness, right, I must get the old SC Project S1 back on the bike for a good handful of ride outs this summer. I do, I do miss it at times. I mean, if I was riding around here now with this, you know, there'd be people in their gardens cutting their grass, the birds would be chirping. I'd be rolling through here with the S1 on and I'll be blowing the leaves off the trees. The trees would be falling down. Everybody would be screaming. Their ears would be bleeding. <laughs> it is so loud, but it's a nice loud. I love it. A proper ride out, oh, amazing. If you, you know, if you're on a spirited ride, but yeah. Uh, at times it can be a bit much but I, I love it I love it so I'll get that on guys if you are missing that exhaust it will be back on the bike sometime in the near future and I'll let you hear it in all its glory right so let's discuss this dash the TFT display uh, it's rubbish isn't it I mean it kind of looks sophisticated it looks techy it looks modern and I'm sure it sounded fantastic at Triumph HQ in the boardroom when they, you know, when they had it up in the presentation. Oh look, it looks all fancy, but come on, like the rev counter is rubbish. Why does it come towards me? Like, like that just doesn't look good, does it? I, I mean, well, I guess it looks pretty fancy, but realistically, real world, I, I just I can never read what rev I'm at, to be honest. And looking at the speed triple that's just recently come out I think I, well I imagine it would make sense for Triumph to stick that one onto the next street triple why wouldn't you nice Mercedes E-Class convertible in front I actually sold my one this year I had an E350 in white and it was a fully spec'd out one and I just look at that and I just miss mine I just think it's such a fantastic looking car it looks really it does look nice with the roof down he's posing around it sun's shining of course why wouldn't you so check this out 50.1 miles to the gallon as an average so if you're wondering how good this bike is on fuel well there we go it's absolutely brilliant 50.2 in fact is going up I guess I'm gonna to have to start riding the bike a little bit harder for you guys <laughs> I mean I do enjoy it uh, I, I think do you know what it is I like to use a gearbox so for example now I'm chilling in sixth gear and I will go to sixth gear when I'm doing like 30 mile an hour around town the beauty of this engine it's so smooth and the fueling on it it will allow you to do that I mean even up this hill now it's quite steep I just leave it in sixth and it just toes up in no bother nice little photo location here get one for the gram why not yeah I do like to go take as many opportunities as I can to capture pictures while I'm out and about I do like this particular angle uh, if you haven't done so yet guys bikes of rye is my Instagram how about you head there and drop me a follow oh it's a beautiful day to ride my motorcycle Ha -ha. Oh it is, it definitely is. So then let's kick off with the third thing and maybe I can use this as my thumbnail. Whoa, try and do no hands here. <laughs> so the third thing is, um, yeah, sticking with the electronics on this bike, I think this is really the only thing, this is gonna be a theme here, right? And it's gonna be cruise control, why not? Again, 
going to refer to the MT-09SP, the latest one that I've just, uh, just been released and I was fortunate enough to test ride it, it had cruise control so uh, and it also had the six axis IMU, I think I did mention that, I'm not sure if I did, I'm sure I did oh another street triple, an older one coming this way uh, but yeah so cruise control would be nice but again I have to reiterate that I don't want to see Triumph put up the cost of this bike this is roughly like 10,500 or thereabouts these days and I think it's a lot of bike for the money so if you agree with all of these things that I've mentioned in this video how about you smash the like button if you don't why don't you comment have I missed something let me know it'd be great to hear and as always guys I appreciate all your likes all your comments all your views it means ever so much for for me on such a small channel and I'm trying to grow it and your help is always very much appreciated so with that said I'm gonna leave the vlog here uh, I really need the toilet so I'm gonna go and try and find somewhere where I can go to the toilet uh, hopefully a petrol station of some sort and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys hope to see you on another one soon see you later Ha <laughs> ha